Hi everybody, thanks for joining me today on my channel. My name is Chris with Kristen's Crafts and today we are going to be adding embellishments to our page kits for our August build a page. So um, as I said yesterday, we're using our starting point is going to be these um, sticker books. That is the focus of Rediscover Your Stash Facebook group this month and so I thought it was a great jumping off point. So I've gone ahead and picked the sketch that I want to add to these 4th of July pictures. It is this one here. This is from, um, oh, let's see, uh, Laura Whitaker. So Laura's um, sketch has two horizontal. I have two vertical. So I will have to rotate the sketch, but I don't think it looks too bad. And I can pull the banner down here. So with that in mind, we're going to go ahead and pick some of our items. So I know that I have this sticker book here. I have my sketch and my photos. The papers that I'm looking at are uh, the stars, the stripes, and the fireworks. On the back side is, again, the stars, the fireworks, and some cut aparts. And I will probably more than likely gut this so there might be even something on the inside we'll see anyways then i am going to include the sticker sheet that comes with the photo play paper pack only because this sticker book has some red items but not a lot of themey kind of stuff so this gives me like this bunting here for and laura's sketch this banner point i can use maybe this bunting and then um some other items that I can like throw in here. I think this will give me a good addition to what's in here. Now, the other thing I want to add in is I did get my stash of Dottie About Flare, and I know there was some red, white, and blue items in here. So I'm just gonna grab a couple of the flares so that I can get these added. I don't mind adding new things to my stash, but I don't also want them sitting and collecting dust either so I just put them in my little enamel tub that I use for watercolors and I am going to try and get them on some layouts so let me just see what I have here I know there was some that was more red white and blue <clears throat> I do like the splatter okay here we go they were towards the bottom so I have the blue stars, I have this one, a blue plaid. Um, I'm gonna hold off on the splatty bits because I think the splatty bits I can use on more generic. So I kinda wanna go more with the ones that look a little bit more themey. <coughs> Sorry, I've got a, all of a sudden a frog in my throat. <coughs> Um, I don't need that many, so let me just pick three of these. So I'm thinking, let's just go with all the stars. And especially if I use like this as my background, these stars will stand off against that. Now the other thing that I did do was pull out my 4th of July sticker sheets. So I have these, um, so it just has a few things like fireworks, uh, or firecrackers, sparkler, a few arrows. This probably won't work because that's more um, military themey. And these probably won't work because they're a different color tone than what I'm using. So we won't use those, but maybe I can get a couple of these in. They're the right tone. Okay. I'm gonna call that one done. Oh, I know, I have my, um, I have my um, flare that I got from Shabby. So hold on one second. I have my pile of all my new things that I've purchased on the floor here, because I knew I wanted to use some of the items. So just bear with me while I'm dig. Well, I'm 
not sure where it's at right now, but I will, let me put you on pause and they find them and we'll add those to it. Okay, I found them. Sorry about that. I, they had slid forward on my desk. So the other thing I'm gonna throw in is these simple stories. They are the page pieces that I got from my recent purchase from scrapbook.com. I also have the photo play um, ephemera for this paper pack, so I'm gonna throw those in. I did buy from Shadney these um, sequins. The red and the silver might work, so I'll throw those in. And then I do have these um, little wood veneers. I'm not sure if they'll go, get in or not, but we'll see. So I'm gonna throw those in as well. And then the other thing I did get was the stencil, which is America the Beautiful. So maybe I can do a little mixed media with some fireworks on the layout. So that is going to be that kit. But again, I'll be concentrating on the sticker book and trying to get more of the sticker book items onto my layout versus um, the other items because they're newer to my, these are newer to my stash and these, this has been around. So I want to kind of make a, an effort at using the older stuff. So let me put this to the side. All right, the next one I have is the one using the Amy Tangerine um, sticker book. And then I have the tickets, the rainbow um, diagonal stripe, a scrap of this orange and then this floral and what I ended up picking out was this picture and the reason I, I grabbed it is because we had gone for my um, future daughter-in-law's bridal shop or bachelorette party we went to an axe throwing and actually I was skeptical at first and it was actually kind of fun but anyways, in the background, they have a lot of those colors with the pinks, the oranges, and the greens that are in here. And then with the tickets, you had to pay to get in, so I thought that kind of went appropriate. So for this one, I grabbed this, um, this um, sketch, which is from Brenda Ragsdale. So... Um, I thought somehow I could get the diagonals going in there using this paper. We'll have to see how that goes. I might have to alter it a little bit because this goes to a point, but um, we're going to try it and see what happens. So that is that. So now I just need some stuff that will go with bachelorette party and with um, X throwing. So, I'm thinking maybe some of these flare again, because I have quite a bit, and so we want to get some of those used. This is a flare I made myself, which is just using an epoxy um, dot with a five cent, so I can use that, because it kind of represents paying to go. Um, that blue is wrong. I think I want more of like the pinks. Now this is kind of cute because it's the yellow, but it's all the sunglasses and all of us were wearing sunglasses. So maybe that one. Maybe we'll just go with all the smiley faces because that was kind of a fun, and we did have a lot of laughs. And I'm gonna take back the one that I made and we'll just go with the three smiley faces and go more with the yellow because there is like I said the yellow in here and it just kind of goes with all of us laughing smiling and having the fun faces so now let's see what else we can grab here and I'm thinking do I want to go I've got tons of pink so let me just go ahead and look at my pink Now in the sketch, there's not a lot of embellishments. There's tabs, which I'll have in here. So really I can add anything I want, but I don't think I'll need a ton. 
I'll probably need like a journaling card. And this has all the colors in it. Be happy, be bright, be you. Maybe. Uh, let's see what else do we have. I like the little hooray. Oh, here we go. This is, looks like, I don't know what, it looks like the bullseye. And it was an introduction to mo for most of us on how to do this. And I like the today because they her sister, who was her um, maid of honor, definitely had um, an agenda. Okay, I'm going to go with that. And then let's get some enamel dots in here. And I think that's going to be it. I don't think there's going to really be a whole lot because the tickets and the flowers will be probably enough. And again, I want to concentrate on the sticker book for the majority of what I'm um, making. All right. So. Oh, hang on, my drawers are really full. So. Or do we want to go with another color? Maybe I should go with more of the fluorescent green. I do have the stars. I'll throw in a couple stars because that's just a different shape. And let me grab the green. use these hearts in a while so maybe I'll do that that'll be fun and I'm gonna throw in one thing of these green enamel dots that should be good enough for that we're gonna call this one done it's got quite a bit I can always pull things in if I need more but I think this sketch is pretty simple and then with the flares, and then again, concentrating on the sticker book, I think I'll be good. So that one's number two. Number three. So this is the one using the kit from Echo Park. Actually, it's Cartabella paper. So I'm using the Cartabella sticker book from the summer collection. So it's very much um, floral, summertime, farmer's market kind of a feel. And so I grabbed the green paper. I have the blue and on the back side is a floral. I have this farmer's market kind of paper with this uh, blue here. But I'm thinking I want a strip of that far farmer's market paper. I have the tags. And then I picked these two photos. This is a picture of me and my sister and a sunflower. We took it at, there's a local garden shop and they were doing um, a farmer's market. And it's just this cool eclectic place that we love going to. So I grabbed this sketch here that I thought I could use. This one is uh, Rochelle Spears.blogspot. So um, this is another one that I got off of Pinterest. So I thought this would be a good one for this sketch. And let's see, what else do we want? So let's grab, again, I'm trying to use some of these flare. 
So let's see what I've got in here. Kind of like the plaid. Oh, you know what? There's bumblebees. Let me grab the bees because the bees kind of have that, um, you know, they go with flowers and there was a lot of bees in the area. I do one that so we'll go more the orangey. I know I've got more bees, so hang on a second here. He's kind of cute. go with that one. So I've got a, um, the orange plaid, the orange bee with the rainbow, and then just bees with the flowers, and the colors go with the, the sunflowers and the kit. So we'll go with that. And again, I want to concentrate on the sticker book a lot. Let's see what else I have in here. I'm going to rummage to my floor again because I have more of the um, enamel dots and things from Echo Park. This one's from Pool Party, but the yellows and the pinks go, so I'm going to go with that. that washi. Let's see what other washi I have. This is not bad. It's kind of a green and blue plaid. And grab that. Actually, I have this one that's got a little bit more of the yellowy orange in it. And then I have this one, which is the rainbow of bright colors. I'm going to use those two instead. So I have a little washi. And let's see, what else can I get in here? I really don't need a lot because I have the sticker book. So I'm thinking between the washi, the sticker book, and this, and the flare, I don't think I need much more because there's going to be a lot of layering pieces in here. And if I pop them up, there's tags, there's letters, banners. And if I pop them up on foam, it gives it dimension. I'm going to call this one done as well. I'm going to keep it simple. All right. Next. We have this one, which is the sketch, which is from Heather. What's can't tell what Heather's last name is. It's kind of covered up. It looks like Watts, maybe. It's scrappysketches.blogspot. So um, this is really cute again. Got it off of Pinterest. This is another one where it had the horizontal pictures, but I'm using vertical. So I thought I could rotate it. Or I can just kind of switch it up and have them go sideways a little bit. So we'll have to play with the sketch. Um, these are just pictures of my grandnieces by the pool on our vacation we just took. And they were wearing these cute sunglasses that their aunt gave them. So I thought this was fun. It's going to go with this rainbow paper and these bright papers. And also with, um, on this purple background, which kind of matches their suit. So let me see what I have Again, trying to really use the flare. So let's see what flare we have that will work. I like this one. It's got the blues and the yellows. And it kind of looks like pool. Um, this one also kind of looks like pool water splotches. I 
there was some rainbow ones in here. Let me see. That one's kind of cute too. I'm gonna switch up this one though. This one kind of looks like, if I go with this splatter, it kind of looks like um, the sun in a way. Oh, here's a rainbow one. Oh, which one do I want? Let's go instead of the splatter, let's go with the rainbow and these. I like those colors. We'll go with that. So now I just need to find, let me go with more of the purple. And let me see what I've got for, this is from, um, oh, whatchamacallit, Rosie Studios. So let me just see what I've got for Rosie Studios. This one looks really cute. This has got, um, there's a sun, um, some really cute leaves. So let me go in here and see what I can get out of this one. It is the Take Flight paper, um, paper pad. But I actually like the ones, this is in the Just Sang. So let me see if I can get a couple of these on here. Let me just get the staple off. Okay, so I think we want the sun. This little banner's cute. I really like these tropical flowers. So let me see if I can find, Rosie Studios gives you two. So let me just see if I can find one more. A lot of happy birthday, but this isn't birthday. Come on. That one's got a little banana and fruit. And here's the other one. All right. And there's a little camera. So I'm thinking between that and the stickers. That's pretty good. I just put this to the side. All right. Now I need, I think I need some enamel dots. So we're pulling out purple in the paper. So let's try and get um, more of the yellow. There's enamel dots. I think that's going to be it because, like I said, I want to concentrate on the sticker books this time. And I can always go back into my stash if I find that it's lacking. But I think between the few florals that I pulled out and these kind of little bits, the flare, the I've got enough lump and bump, and then. Then once I add in the stickers from the sticker sheet and any florals that are in here, because there is some florals in here, I think we're gonna be good. So we're gonna call this one done. Put this to the side. And now we're to the last one. So this is the girls again, um, just random sh um, picture and again, this sketch, which is from Page Maps, shows two vertical. I have two horizontal, so I'll have to tweak the sketch a little bit. But for this one, I have pink cardstock, 
the rainbow chamel paper in dots, cameras, stripes, and then this scrap. And then we're going to be using the chamel sticker book, which will have a lot of like the purples and those kinds of colors and some of the aqua which will go and even like these florals will be great so that will be fun and what color i think i want to go with let's see if i can get maybe that aqua color here okay that's that aqua color so I think we'll use that and I'm seeing this little it says rad cool fresh kind of matches the stripes on their towel. I do have from Shadney this tissue paper with the stars on it. I might be able to add tissue in. What else do I have? Um, can I add I want that color. Go with this tag and maybe a pink one. And it says explore, but if I tuck it in, so now I've got enough of the blue, I think, in there. And then with the pink from the book, let's see what else I can get. Wanna go pink? I'm still looking at the blues. See if there's anything like water related. You can do a journaling card and journal about the girls. And then in the Rosie Studios, it's got this little, um, and then I have another sun. And between the cameras being fussy cut out, let me see if I can get some flare. Let's try and go more with pink and purple. So this is one that's kind of a watercolory look. I like that. That's got a purple plaid. And that is the color of this paper here and some of these teals. So that pulls out more also got this one here that's got like all the colors as well so I'm going to throw the four in and see what where that takes me I think that's good I like that but I think the blue is too blue I'm just going to call it that. And let's see. I do have some tags up here. I'm going to put a couple labels in. These are Nicole Jones, um, her digital files. So I have a couple of them that are. So there's a blue, a yellow, and a pink that pulls all the colors in. 
think I've got a purple in here too. And there's a purple. So there's all the colors from the Chamel. All right, and then again, I want to concentrate on using as much of the sticker book because even like it's got like the little dots that I can use for sprinkling and then the florals that I can pull in that are nice and bright. So I think this is good enough. So this is what we're going to start with. So stop back tomorrow and we will get the first of the layouts made and we'll see where this takes us. I want to thank you for stopping by and we will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.